Hi friends, this is Chandrajit from AndroidHardware.com. In my previous video, I showed you that uh, there is a Wi-Fi Direct issue between any Samsung device and any non-Samsung device. So we have our Nexus 4 and Tab 2 here, Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 here. So we also saw that Superbeam application works great while using Wi-Fi Direct. It gave us speeds of up to 20 Mbps and a 67 MB video was transferred within a minute, within 15 seconds or so. So right now we are going to test another application that we have installed from the Play Store that is Wi-Fi Shoot. We have the Wi-Fi Shoot application available on both these two devices. I have already installed Wi-Fi Shoot on the Nexus 4 as well as the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. So let me switch on the Wi-Fi first. Okay, the Wi-Fi Direct is switched on here. And I have also switched on the Wi-Fi Direct on the Nexus 4. So you see both of these devices are available right now, but this is a stock Wi-Fi Direct uh, application available within both these Android devices. So now let's try to send a video using Wi-Fi Shoot. So let me open gallery. And I'll try to send this Samsung default video. This time I will use Wi-Fi Shoot. Okay. So it says that it's searching for a device and it has found my ne the Nexus 4. So turning on the Nexus 4, here under Nexus 4, if you go to in applications, here you will find an icon called receive Wi-Fi shoot. So which should be meant to receive the files via Wi-Fi shoot from another device. So I'm also turning this on. So this time I'm ch selecting the Nexus device. Yes, let's accept the invitation to connect both these two devices are connected okay and it says shoot so let me shoot okay and it's receiving so right now we are not able to see the speeds at which it is receiving let me check if in the samsung device under notifications the receiving speed is found available Okay, under Samsung also it is not available but as we can see if we check out the receiving speeds so it's pretty fast the 67 MB video is getting transferred within a matter of seconds so Wi-Fi shoot works pretty well uh, pretty similar as compared to Superbeam app but um, there is a disadvantage that is when you are sending something via the uh, Wi-Fi shoot you need to have the receive Wi-Fi shoot application opened on the other phone whereas as I had showed you in Superbeam there is okay here we have received our file So in Superbeam we do not have to do this thing that is in Superbeam if you use Superbeam you do not need to have anything uh, connected or you do not open, need to open the receive uh, Wi-Fi uh, shoot receive via Wi-Fi shoot so in Superbeam as you had seen you can directly go ahead and select the Superbeam okay we'll read it later on it's a good app it, it just asks you to scan via QR code and uh, here you have the super beam receiver via which it scans and this process starts very fast so I would rate both the Wi-Fi shoot and the super beam app uh, similar they have similar ratings uh, as per the performances rather I would say super beam is better because it shows you the speeds at which the files are being sent and the estimated time left so which is a additional uh, feature when compared when Superbeam is compared to the um, uh, Wi-Fi shoot app 
So thanks for watching this video.